Hey, what's going on? Today I'm going to share five things you can do to increase your energy, your focus and concentration, and a whole lot more benefits. So one of the keys to you staying healthy is getting nutrients into your cells. And when this doesn't happen, you increase your risk for things like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity, Alzheimer's disease, and other dementias. And you can feel really tired and sluggish, which none of us want, right? So the thing I'm talking about is microcirculation. And it turns out about 74% of your blood vessels are so small you can't even see them. And their job is to transport these different nutrients, oxygen, um, hormones, vitamins, minerals, to your cells and also remove waste from your cells to keep the cell making energy and keep the cell healthy. And living a poor lifestyle Anything that causes inflammation can have a big impact on this and also aging. Depending on how well you take care of yourself, on average when you turn 40, you have a decrease in your circulation because your blood vessels and arteries tend to get a little more stiff. Um, so some of the really big offenders are things like eating a poor diet, eating inflammatory foods, uh, unmanaged stress. So you got to manage stress, uh, not sleeping well and also sitting too long. So most people have heard that sitting is the new smoking. One of the reasons that sitting is so bad is because it really shuts down your circulation. Also, if you have a challenge with your, with your circulation, that also means your lymph isn't working too well and your lymph is kind of like your body's sewage system. So just like in, in your house or in a building, if the sewage pipe gets blocked, it makes a big stinky mess and the same thing happens in your body because these toxins aren't able to get out of your body. So circulation is a really big deal. A couple telltale signs that you need to improve your circulation are numbing and tingless, tingless, tingling in your feet and in your hands. Also cold hands and feet. And having uh, like toenail fungus is another sign because we, when you're not getting enough nutrients, uh, pathogens, can uh, can get in there but also when you when you don't have good blood flow you can feel that in your hands and feet if you can feel that in your hands and feet guess what you have poor blood flow in your brain as well and your brain is not working as well as it could be so here are five things that you can do to help you improve your microcirculation so number one is diet you want to avoid inflammatory foods and there are also foods that you can eat that are going to improve your microcirculation. Things like fatty fish, so salmon and sardines are both really good fish to help with this. Foods high in nitrogen, so things like beets, uh, celery, arugula, they're all really good sources of nitrogen. And then different spices, so things like garlic, uh, cayenne pepper, uh, ginger, they're all really good for your circulation. So number one diet. Number two is sunshine. So year round, there is UVA light in the sun, in uh, the spectrum of the sun. And that UVA light releases nitric oxide from your blood vessels, vessels, which causes them to vasodilate, which means they open up and that increases blood flow. So you wanna be getting healthy sun exposure. Even in the winter time, yesterday was nice and sunny where I live. I went for a walk, took my sweatshirt off, had my, shirt, my uh, arms exposed, and I got some good uh, UVA exposure in the winter time. Uh, number three is exercise. So things like cardio and HIIT, high intensity interval training. Anything that really gets your blood pumping, gets your breathing hard, that's going to increase your circulation. Now, I do go to the gym, I do go on hikes, and I do other forms of exercise, but when I'm stuck in my office, I do what's called burst exercise. And I just made it up, but a burst exercise is just something that takes a minute or two that gets you breathing hard, get your blood flowing. So personally, I use a kettlebell most of the time. I'll crank out 15, 21 swings. I can do that in less than a minute. It really gets me breathing. It increases my circulation. It, it improves my, my focus. Also, if I feel a wall of my energy, I feel, I feel more energized after doing that. And if I have cold hands, after about five to 10 minutes of doing that, my cold hands warm up. I don't have cold hands anymore, which means my brain is getting more nutrients, more oxygen, so it can make more energy, it can think better, focus better, and just have a healthier brain. 
I also have a pull-up bar, so I crank out some pull-ups as well. Um, if you don't have those things, you can do air squats. You can do burpees. If you work in an office building, you can run up a couple flights of stairs. These are all things that you can do in one to two minutes that are going to really significantly increase your circulation, giving you a nice boost in energy, focus, and concentration. Uh, number four is hot and cold exposure. So one of my favorite things after the gym is going to the sauna, and immediately after the sauna, I go and I take a cold shower. Now I do that for two reasons. Number one is because I wanna close my pores and I wanna rinse off those toxins that I sweated out in the sauna, but number two, that contrast is really good for your circulation. It's also really good for your immune system. It's good for a bunch of other things, but anytime you can go from extreme hot to extreme cold, or extreme cold to extreme hot, that's a really good thing for your circulation. And then number five is breath work. So I'll just I'll share two practices that are really good. One is buteco breathing. So look that up. You can go on YouTube and figure out how to do it. Do it. The other is Wim Hof breathing. So again, you can find that on YouTube. I actually have a couple Wim Hof videos on YouTube, uh, demonstrating and just kind of sharing my experience with Wim Hof breathing. But that kind of breath work, and there's other kinds too, that's also very good to increase your circulation. So do a combination of those things, make them a daily part of your life, increase your circulation, have better microcirculation, your body's gonna detox better, you're gonna have better energy, you're gonna have better focus and concentration, and guess what? Your life's gonna get a whole lot better. So give these things a go, let me know how they work out, if you have any questions, you can ask below. And uh, hey, thanks for checking this out. I'll see you on the next video.